Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Back by popular demand this year as the fall series continues, I am sharing a new crock pot recipe. I shared a few with you guys the last fall season and you really seem to enjoy them. So today I'm sharing one that is perfect for game day. I'm also sharing some new jewelry pieces that were sent to me to share with you that I thought you might enjoy. So let's get started. Hey you guys and welcome back to my fall series. Today we are crocking for game day. But before we get started on this delicious recipe, I'd like to let you know that this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. They recently sent me a few really gorgeous pieces to share with you which I'm excited about because I love jewelry, especially unique rings and necklaces. And that's why these pieces stood out to me. Anna Luisa hires designers who have worked with previous brands like Tory Burch and Ralph Lauren, so they understand how to keep their pieces trendy, but still classic. And so I'm going to now let you guys take a little bit of a closer look. I selected pieces to share that I would normally wear every day. So pieces like this necklace and these earrings because they really look high end, but without the high end price. I also love a great stackable ring, so I chose these pieces to share because as you can see, you can wear them either uh, standing alone or you can create a unique look by stacking them uh, according to your style. What I love most about this brand is that they only make jewelry in limited quantities, which means I'm not going to see the pieces that I'm wearing on everyone else's fingers and necks, which I love. So they've been gracious enough to offer all of my wonderful subscribers a discount. The discount code is listed below in the description box, Millionaire 10 So make sure you put that in when you go over to select your pieces. And now let's get started on something that we stumbled upon one day and it has ended up being a family favorite. It's barbecue chicken quesadillas. Perfect for game day. For this recipe, you'll need one package of extra large flour tortillas. You'll need a package of McCormick's Slow Cookers Barbecue Pulled Pork Seasoning Mix. You'll need half a cup of firmly packed brown sugar. You will also need half a cup of ketchup. You'll need a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar. And I usually use about four boneless, skinless chicken breast. Once you have all your ingredients ready, you are going to pour them all into a medium sized bowl and mix well. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but you're also gonna need a package of the four cheese uh, Mexican style cheese mix. Once you have everything mixed together, you're going to put your chicken in the crock pot. I lightly season mine with a little salt and pepper. Next, you'll cover your chicken with your barbecue seasoning mix and make sure you cover all the pieces really well. With my crock, I crock the chicken on four hours on high, um, but you may need to adjust according to the size of your crock pot. About three hours in, I remove the lid, which I know I've told you you really don't wanna do before when you're crocking a recipe, but in this case you do. I remove the lid and shred the chicken. So this is gonna give all the chicken pieces an opportunity to really soak up the sauce. So you wanna make sure you shred it well. It should look like this. Um, about 30 minutes later, it'll look um, dry because you don't want your quesadilla to be runny, but the chicken is so flavorful and delicious. I cannot wait for you guys to try this. Now we like onions, but the kids really don't. So I will usually saute some onions and set them aside for one batch of the quesadillas that I'm going to make. 
on medium low heat, you'll melt some butter for your first tortilla um, and place it in the nonstick pan. And then I add my cheese first so that it will start to melt. And then I start to add the shredded chicken. Now, I won't put any onions on this one that I'm showing you in this demonstration, but in another set that I made uh, for the adults, I added onions on top of the chicken. Then I simply place another tortilla on top and wait for the bottom tortilla to get nice and golden brown. Once it's nice and brown and crispy, I flip it. And then once the other side is nice and golden brown and crispy, I remove the quesadilla and uh, cut it with a pizza cutter and I start the process all over again. I will usually make between four and five if we are looking to snack on these for game day. And since it's kind of a production, um, I will typically make these the night before game day and then pop them in the toaster oven to get them all warmed up um, right before we're ready to eat them. But here is the final look. They are so yummy. So please let me know if you give this recipe a try um, and what you guys thought. And I will be back soon with another crock pot recipe for the fall series. Until then, love and peace.